Hello and welcome to Mr. E's Watch Reviews. Uh, unfortunately, this is a second take. I don't know why, but my phone did not store the video. It just stopped all of a sudden on its own and yeah. So I unboxed this already, unwrapped it, and did a whole review on it. Um, basically, this is the Bliger B-L-I-G-E-R G-M-T Root Beer. Uh, on a Jubilee from AliExpress. Um, basically, this thing's got the NH34A movement in it. Uh, I already went through all the bullshit of getting the time set and everything correctly. So, you know, um, yeah, sorry. But um, actually, well, hang on a second. I, I do see that the GMT time is incorrect. Uh, let's go ahead and get that corrected now. It should be 12 o'clock GMT time. So I'm going to pull it out one click. Yeah, click one time. Yeah, let's see. Yep. Uh, it does have a jumping hour, fourth hour hand, um, which is pretty cool. Uh, damn it. The crown and everything on this doesn't feel terrible. Um, it is a little rough out the very towards the end, right before it pops. Um, I do like the GMT jumping hand. Um, that does kind of make it easier to set. Uh, this is a unidirectional bezel. Um, it does feel very good. It's nice and crisp. Um, no back play. No up and down play. Uh, I'm not too sure how I feel about the pink numbers. Whoops. Um, I'm not a super huge fan of that. But it does look like the bezel lines up correctly. Yep. Uh, when I was setting the time in the first video... Um, they did actually do a good job of getting it right at midnight when the date flips. Like it was like four or five minutes till. So that was pretty good. Um, the fit and finish of the bracelet to the case is right. Good. Um, uh, you know, the polishing work is right, right. Nice on this. Um, they do have a glide lock clasp on this thing, which again, you know, uh, that might be my fault because I just actually dropped this motherfucker. Um, but yeah, you got a glide lock. That all works nice. Locks in right easy. So I, I do like that. I didn't expect it to have glide lock on there. Um, let's see. Let's turn on the time grapher. Uh, set this to the right new key. Oh, no. Let's see what this thing says. Well, the beat error is a little on the high side, but, um, looks like it's running pretty decent. Give it a few, give it a few passes real quick. I mean, zero to plus two would be quite acceptable. It really sucks. The other video was all the way up to 30 minutes. But, um, I would like to say thank you to all the viewers that, uh, chimed in and let me know that, that, moon swatch was not a genuine moon swatch 
I did not know. Um, I'm quite irritated and pissed off about it, but um, it is what it is. So, you know, I'm not going to sit here and piss and moan and cry, but, you know, I, I even asked the guy, I was like, why, why do you want to tr- trade this for that? And, you know, I, I should have been more suspicious, but in my mind, I, I just didn't see any reason why anybody would want to fucking fake one of them pieces of shit in the first place. But it is what it is. Uh, you know, like I, I don't know. Like, the whole idea of the moon splash was just, like, to me, I, I did not see why anybody would, A, pay $260 for that kind of piece of crap. Um, you know, ever. But beyond that, um, yeah, it, it just, you know... This thing here is, uh, you know, pop the back off. That's how I really figured it out because that's supposed to be a sealed case. Um, there were a couple of other things when I watched a few of the videos and whatnot, uh, that, you know, will tell you what the deal is on, on several of them. You know, the, their bezels pop off. Uh, this bezel does not pop off, but the lettering over here is not is pronounced or is it there no it's over on this side this should be a lot more pronounced uh than than it is the font is very very wrong here um all in all i mean this is not a god-awful turd but it's a turd um and like i said i do apologize for you know bringing this thing to y'all's attention or whatnot i thought i'd done decent and of course, as as per my life, fucking I can't win for losing. Uh, but I did get the the chronometer hand adjusted up correctly, so you know we're not gonna sweat that one. We're gonna wear that bitch to the watch, and we're gonna see exactly. We're gonna see how tough this little cheap piece of shit is. We're going, to, we're going to find out. I'm going to take it and we're going to, we're going to put it through the ringer. I'm going to take it to take a hammer to it. One or the other. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. And I don't know. No, I'm very upset about that. That that just that pisses me off to no end. That a I got screwed, but b I was showing that on the Western call it like it was a legit thing. Like I said, you know, it came with the bag, came with the box. You know, the one thing I didn't see was a receipt. And, you know what I'm saying, I, I didn't know if the guy even had it. And, honestly, it was just one of them deals where I only got to watch for, for content purposes. You know what I'm saying? I never wanted one of them damn things. Um, like, it never even occurred to me to even get one or even think about it. Uh, it wasn't for the person bringing it up, like, hey, you you want to trade? Uh, I wouldn't even have thought about it at all. But it is what it is, you know, just be careful, y'all, because apparently uh, it's a thing. Like, there's a lot of these watches out there that are just being faked and all that kind of good crap. Um, You know, because, I mean, I would have just thought of all the other cool, good watches that you could fake that, you know, you could probably get really good money for. Um you know, I, I don't know. And like, I don't understand the, the fake watch world. I really don't like, if it was me, I would be trying to do the absolute most bangingest job to where nobody could tell it was fraudulent. So I could get the real kind of money for them. Not like pennies on the dollar, you know, like, and, and making it just kind of half ass to where it just kind of looks like it. You know, it just, I don't know. They, they, they've got the skills, you know, they, they did such a good job on so many things on this thing, but uh, it, it is what it is. Yeah. Yeah, it is what it is. Oh, so disappointing. I, I'm sorry, I just, I, you know, it's not like I'm heartbroke over it, but, you know what I mean? Like, I thought I had something that, you know, was going to actually be able to sell good and everything like that. It had 
I mean, it had all the right stuff. It's got the turn down lugs and, you know, yeah, just, ugh. Oh, just so disgusted. It's just fucking pissing me off. So, it is what it is. Again, I'm sorry, you guys. Uh, but back to this one. Um, like I said, you can actually get this with the custom dial. Uh, with whatever kind of logo you want to put on there. They will not put a Rolex logo on it, though. Um, just so y'all know. Um, but you can do it, you know. It's not the same company that I got these ones through, but it is the same kind of thing. Um, the loom on this thing is actually right good. Hang on a second, let's charge it up. All right. Turn out the lights. Watch it glow. So it's got a right decent amount of loom. I mean, it's glowing right bright. Come on, camera. Don't be an ass. Don't be an ass, camera. Yeah, I'd be like that. Well, at least we know that this isn't a counterfeit because it doesn't have no name on it. <laughs> but, so, let's see. I forgot what all I done covered on this. Um, the fit and the finish of the bracelet is pretty good. Oh, yeah, I wish I'd do some measurements real fast. Let's see. I believe it should be a 40 mil case. Yep, 40.1. Uh, let's see. 47.2, and we'll go to the male end links. The male end links put it out at 51 and a half. 51, yep, 51 and a half. Uh, let's see. Thickness is 13.4, and at the Cyclops, looks like 14.2. And it does look like an actual two and a half times magnification. Um,. The inside of the bezel looks right nice. Like the rehot or whatever. Looks like it's reasonably deep. I mean, all in all, this is a, this is a regular looking watch. Make sure that the back's tight. Yep, back's tight. Let's slip that on. Let's slip it on to see. I know it's going to be too big. I'll let Q size it up for himself. I'll bring him a screwdriver and whatnot tomorrow. Yeah, that's right. Good looking. That's nice. That's pretty sharp. I really like that. I didn't think I'd be much on the root beer. That's better looking than I thought it was. I think they did a right decent job on the, the rose gold effect because it definitely definitely got that copper bronze look to it. Looks very good. Especially like the crown and the bezel definitely match real good. This is just a slight off shade to that, but I don't know. Like I said, it's kind of hard to get all your fake golds to look right. But I do I do like this glide lock. That, that does work right nice. Hell yeah. Bracelet's got a nice amount of flex, but not too much. You know, a reason, again, a reasonable amount for what you would expect from a Jubilee. Yeah. Hang on a second. I got the I got the camera angled down. I'm trying to hold it, hold the watch up straight. Yeah, you see what I mean? That's not too bad. That's not bad at all. Yeah, I like that. That's right spiffy there. So, in recap. 
I need you all to like and subscribe. Uh, watch as many videos as you can, as many hours as you can. Um, I've made a whole $5.10 so far since the channel has been monetized. Um, there, There is a possibility that if you all want to do a super thanks or anything like that or you know, all that kind of stuff, it would be appreciative, but I'm not trying to beg y'all for money. I was trying to earn it, but I did not realize it was going to be, I'm earning 20 cents a day. So yeah, you know, sorry if I sound a little disappointed, but, um, b between all of my, uh, commission, like total, since I've been an AliExpress affiliate, I've gotten all of uh, $200 there. And um, yeah, I, I can't even get any of the YouTube money until I at least reach $100. And at the rate I'm going, um, yeah, I won't really need to file a tax form, I don't think. <laughs> uh, yeah, it just, it's been a little, been a little disappointing. I, I, I was, my hopes was a little higher, I guess. Um, I don't know exactly how they do the calculations for it, but, uh, yeah, it's, it's not been going well. Like, I think on my most popular video, I've made 93 cents. So yeah. Yeah. It, the, the going is rough. So, um, shit, I forgot what all I was going to say. Uh, watch giveaway at 1,680 subscribers. So if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe uh leave a comment that's all you got to do you're entered into the contest then um you know hopefully it won't take too long we'll get there and uh, i'll be able to give away another watch um i do hear y'all y'all want a chronos uh i'm probably going to order up one here shortly um it is the chinese new year so they are taking forever to do uh any kind of deliveries or stuff like that. Uh, basically they're not doing shit until it's over. Um, with that also being said, uh, handy in time, hopefully you see this. Um, the Sue guest will be on its way. However, they sent me a message saying that if I wanted the blue and black combo, like I want, uh, that I would need to order an NH35A and I really want it in the high beat 2130. So, um, they're going to build it after the new year, uh, the Chinese new year, um, which ends sometime towards the end of the, this month, I think around the 30th, uh, first of February, something like that. So, um, and also Philo, when you see this, uh, you know, I want to send you a text or whatever, but, um, I was wanting to do another Submariner Homage Battle Royal. And basically, uh, I was wanting to hold on to the Steinhardt because I wanted it to be a part of it, uh, along with the Sue Yes. Um, if you need the Steinhardt back, then I'm going to go ahead and do it. And we'll, you know, uh, get the Sue Yes worked in on its own later and wait out, you know, with the. I don't know. We'll, we'll figure it out one way or the other. But, um, you know, you said take my time with it and whatnot. I got it all locked up safe. Um, but I can either ship it back to you or uh, I can hold on to it for just a little while. But they're saying it's going to be about 25 days before that watch gets out to me. And then it'll probably be several more weeks. So, I don't know. You let me know. Um I'm good with going ahead and just doing it because I think that's what's going to happen anyways. Uh, you know, I, I emailed them and I told them what the deal was and they're like, well, we'll get it to you as fast as we can. So with that being said, it is what it is. And, uh, you know, I will do whatever I got to do. But at any rate, um, I forgot what all else I was going to do. Because I, see, this is why I hate doing shit a second time. Because there's so much shit that I said the first time that I wanted to repeat. And I don't write shit down or have a script. You know, this fucking butt fucking cameras. Fucking bullshit. 
All right. I'll check y'all later. Bye.